Uh, one of the troopers stopped the car, thought he had smelled marijuana, asked me to kind of make sure. How you guys doing? We're doing good, man. You mind if I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, go ahead. All right. You, uh, what's your name? Kenyon. What? Kenyon. Kenyon, OK. Did you, what, where are you guys coming from? Uh, been what's that? We've been in Utah. In Utah? Yeah. How long have you been driving? For about six hours. So you, you went past Utah, then? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like, Come on, bro. have uh, cannabis oil. Cannabis oil? Yeah. Oh, you can tell me that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, the dog is a perfectionist down there. You bet. Yeah, you can tell me that. That's great. OK. Yeah, you got cannabis oil. I'm going to have them get out. Just go and stand in front of the car for me for a minute. I don't. Oh, you OK? Yeah, yeah. Stand in front of the car and keep your hands out of your pockets for a minute, OK? OK, I'm going to pat you down. Are you OK if I pat you down for weapons? Yeah, yeah. OK with that? Turn, 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 turn. Up, up. There we go. Uh, keep your hands up. Keep. Don't put him down again. Do you understand? OK. He had a pipe on him, Chris. He's just acting super hinky. So I'm just going to I'm gonna link him up for a minute. We'll see. OK, go ahead. I got you. I got you. Sit down. Feet out. He wanted me to have you come sit in his vehicle. Come on up here. OK. Who's this? Uh, my son. It's your actual son? What about this guy right here? It's his friend. OK. And what were you all doing? I picked them up. Where did you pick them up? In California. Where in California did you pick them up? Um, northern, like by the ocean. Do you, you, you would know. You drove all the way from Wyoming, right? Yeah. Where in California? Um, Grants Pass. What? Grants Pass? Yeah. That's not in California. It's right on the border. That's in Oregon, I believe. And there's three occupants, and talking to them, they had totally different stories of what they've been doing, uh, the purpose of the travel. What kind of work were they doing? I don't, I really don't know. You don't, he's your son. You don't know what type of work he was doing? He's 19 years old. He, uh, it's like he does his own thing, pretty much. Except for drives home, right? <laughs> One of their stories uh, actually changed, I think, three different times where they'd been, what, what, what they were. Uh, going to do. No weapons on you. What do you have right there? That's my dick. No, you got something else in there. What else you got? What else you got in there? Uh, there, there there's more than more more than you in there. Yeah. Let's be, let's be. What? Just watch. I'm going to go grab my gloves real quick. Is it shoved between pants or is it down your down your other pants? I'm not sure exactly. Okay. Okay, he's got it down his pants. That ended up being a package, looks like probably about a quarter to a half pound of marijuana. Have you checked down underneath the car or anything like that? Or I think there's something. Okay. I got a whip of bra. You had a package right under here, vacuum seal package right under there. By what's going on, it seems like they've been may, may have been out west trimming marijuana. Was it weed or was it or is it two things? Was it a hash looking stuff? Yeah. So two vacuum sealed back there. Okay. Maybe half a pound of marijuana and and then the hash oil is a uh, super concentrate THC. It's it's uh, actually a, a stiffer penalty for it. Police are here to protect the serve. Everyone should take accountability. We should all look to law and order. There should be justice. You should trust the police. There should be a lot more transparency. We should come together as a we nation. Fight. There should have been. We should.